this segment of the vlog is going to be me trying to recreate photos of Jam. So I'm definitely in my fantasy era, being the wish version of Jam. I think I'm just a fantasy girly now. Um, I was just annotating silly goofy things. I've read two full books that counted for absolutely nothing. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to be a little bit cheeky and straight from my TBR for a bit. Hello, welcome back to the chaos that is Shani and Books. Hi, I'm Kevin. Good boy. This is going to be the start of my full moon readathon vlog. And I know what you're thinking, Shani, the hair. I have become a wig girly and I ordered this wig that looked so cool online. And then I got it and I tried it on and looked at myself in the mirror and went, Mommy. This is like Jan's Mommy. exact hair. Whoa. So then I was like, I can't wear this now because I'm going to look like a Jan no. impersonator. But I love this wig, like the cut of it. No. And the style is so cute. But I figured a great time to wear it would be yeah. Jan's readathon. So here I am. Oh. Being the wish version of Jam. I just spent like half an hour trying to take a photo because I thought I would recreate one of Jan's Instagram photos when she had this hair color because she's just dyed it blue. So I just did that and I have not started reading my books for the readathon because I have one library book that I need to return soon that I was going to read in July. Um, so that's just a rollover that I'm getting through. He's talking in the background. I'm going to leave linked my TBR video for the month if you want to see my plans for the whole month. But I'll go through my TBR for the readathon once I start it. I'm going to start City of Ashes tonight or tomorrow whenever I finish uh, the library book that I have. I have one other library book out, but I think I'm just going to return it and not read it. Um, I don't want to stress myself out with too many reading plans. So that's it for now. All I've done is take selfies. Um in my Jan outfit and hair but yeah that's just the intro to this vlog so I'll tell you when I've read something I guess okay it's been a couple of days and I keep forgetting to vlog but um here's my dinner oh it's fogging up okay here's a vlog clip great yep <laughs> good job Shani okay it's been a couple of days and I haven't been a very good vlog up Yes, I'm committed to the Jan hair and I'm sad because like I feel like I can never wear this wig because it's just gonna be like I'm impersonating Jan even though I love the cut and like the style of this wig and I wish it wasn't synthetic so I could like dye this bit like pink or something so it's at least a little bit different but you know at least I can wear it and look cute for the readathon. Um, so I've actually finished like three books since I first started. The first book was my rollover from July, so I'm not going to talk about it because it doesn't count for any prompts anyway. But then I read the entirety of City of Ashes, which I'm counting this for the nostalgic spooky book. I wouldn't really call it spooky, but there's spooky elements in it um, and it's a reread, so that's why it's nostalgic. Um, and I was going to count it also for favourite supernatural creature because there's a bunch of supernatural creatures in this series but then i decided to pick up a city of glass also i had the audiobook on hold because i've been loving audiobook and physical like tandem reads and it came in early from my library so i just picked it up straight after so one will be for nostalgic spooky book and one will be for favorite supernatural creature um so i finished two of them even though i was only planning to read one and count it for both so the classic getting interrupted um but i'm off to a good start because we're only a couple of days in and i've already finished two whole books and they're pretty chunky they're both over 400 pages but i'm enjoying my reread and i'm excited to get to the rest of the books that i have not yet read i did annotate these and i feel like in fantasy books when you annotate you're probably annotating like the world building and like things that you think for later and like for a reread you're probably annotating like like Easter eggs and like things that come up in um, like later series. Um, I was just annotating silly goofy things. So these were obviously written 15 years ago and I first read them over a decade ago and the world was a different time. So I was annotating like random things like um, this one where um, she was in the train car, her iPod headphones dangling around her neck, which obviously you wouldn't refer to headphones as iPod headphones because no one has iPods now, they're just headphones. And another one that said the phone itself was lying folded on the bedside table, which obviously flip phones were very big in 2008, which is funny because flip phones have kind of come back around now, though. They're like... Not the same, but there's still phones that flip now. Oh yeah, and Magnus, um, they were there was like a joke where Magnus clapped his hands together and the room was suddenly flooded with light. He says, can you do that with magic? And then Simon says, actually, yes, if you watched infomercials, you'd know that. And obviously the lights where like you clap, can clap them on and off or a thing, but like it's just crazy because now there's like 
Alexa and Google where you can literally just say lights on with your voice and it will turn on. So like that's actually magic. Um, and yeah, the second book I was annotating less nostalgic things. There was like less because these books were originally meant to be just a trilogy. It was meant to be just these three. And then she extended it onto like a six book series. I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. So this book is more like the series conclusion rather than like a middle book to a series. And this definitely feels like a finished trilogy. Like if it had have ended here, like things were wrapped up. So this was more like action packed than um, City of Ashes because that was like a middle book really. Um, so I had less like fun, silly, goofy things to annotate in this one, unfortunately. Um, I'm definitely more annoyed by certain characters. It's weird because like now that I'm an adult, I'm finding myself relating more to more to the adults in the story um which is kind of sad <laughs> to be relating to like the generation above the teenagers but in chapter two i was agreeing with luke because clary was making some reckless decisions um and luke said it's not his fault you decided to play around with magic you just barely understand just because you have power doesn't mean you know how to use it and he was like telling her off and then he said of course you didn't know you don't know anything about idris you don't even care about idris you were just upset about being left behind like a child and you had a tantrum and i was reading along nodding like yes exactly because i feel like the older i get the more disconnected i am from the decisions that teenage characters make and clary was really annoying for me in this one so i am excited to continue the series and i am remembering how fun it is to be immersed in like a magical world so i'm definitely in my fantasy era which is fun um but next i think i will read vicious since i am in that fantasy mood before i move on to other things um yeah hopefully i can continue the reading momentum i haven't done much vlogging so it would be nice if i could probably pick that up before but we had a busy few days kian has we have fortnightly appointments that we go to and the day that we had the appointment which was yesterday it is pretty much a write-off the whole day <laughs> because I have to prepare in the morning and Kian gets really car sick so I have to make sure that he eats at a certain time so that the hour before we have to travel he doesn't eat and then his stomach is settled for the drive and then we drive we have the appointment and then by the time we come home there is a recovery period because a lot of socialization that we have to do while we're there and Kian has to use his brain a lot during the appointment so he ends up being tired and we just need to like decompress and rest so the whole day is pretty much a write-off as far as productivity goes for the days we have those appointments um, but the good thing about it is when we were at home just relaxing and decompressing, I had so much reading time, which is how I got through most of those two books. Um, so I don't know whether the rest of my readathon I'll be able to read as much, but at least I started off with the momentum. And yeah, I think that's all the updates that I needed to do. Yeah, I'm going to go and I'll let you know when I've read something else. Okay, a late night reading update. It's actually not that late, but I go to bed early, so... We're calling it late, because I think that's one of the prompts as well as read past your bedtime. Anyway, I have finished reading Vicious. I am so glad that I finally read this book, because I've wanted to read it pretty much since it came out, which was 2014. And then I've had this specific collector's edition sitting on my shelf for years. So very happy that I finally read it, and I really, really enjoyed it. Very popular, so I'm sure you know what it's about. Um, basically two guys in college that kind of figure out a way to make themselves superhuman. I'm counting this one for the morally grey character prompt because that's like kind of the overarching theme is like, I don't know, they, they both have different views on like how they think they are helping humanity sort of thing because one thinks that these superhumans are like a crime against God sort of thing and the other one does not. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna count these for that. I considered picking up the next book in this series i have it right here um vengeful but it's a little bit longer so i don't know it's not on my tbr so um but i did order the um other series by v shrub that i've yet to read which is the shades of magic series i found like a used um copy of the box set online so it was pretty cheap so um i think i'm just a fantasy girly now um but the next book I should realistically pick up is The Weight of Blood because that one is the only book that I have that can fulfill the blood prompt. Um, but I don't know if I want to pick that up right now. Um, I actually went and got my copy of Clockwork Angel because I, I don't know what I'm doing. Reading Cassandra Clare books was not on my 2023 bingo card, but here we are 
I think I want to do a reread of this series and I this is a paperback copy obviously um but I do have a hardcover copy of this it's a special edition so I'm not going to actually read it but I could count this for a hardcover book because I have that hardcover copy of it I'm just going to start reading the paperback first because I don't want to ruin the hardcover mm. decisions I do love a TBR though and I'm not a mood reader maybe I'm just going to be a little bit cheeky and stray from my TBR for a bit because I'm feeling like I just want to spend a bit more time in the shadow hunter well hmm I am going to read for a little bit and see how I feel. Okay, read, drink, acquired for whatever prompt that is, one of the life prompts. We can check that one off. Can you help me? Huh? Can you choose a book for me to read? Uh, which I one think... should I read? Green mm. one. Which one? Show me. You grab it. You think I should read the green one? Yes. Uh oh. And it's purple. One more, mommy. <laughs> What other color? Purple and blue. I just purple and blue. Yeah. Do you like my circles? Yes. Go over, mommy. That's okay. You can go over my circles, no problem. It's your painting. Oh, that looks good. Green or purple or a blue? Did you want me? You're welcome. <gasps> and a purple paint. I did a purple flower. Is that okay? Yes. I like it. You like it? I like it too. Okay, I feel like this vlog has not been super exciting. I don't know, I haven't really looked at the footage yet. Um, but I figured I'm just going to fully lean into the cosplaying as Jan <laughs> theme I've got going here. And this segment of the vlog is going to be me trying to recreate photos of Jan. So I did it on the first day and I was just going to do that one. But I was scrolling on her Instagram and I had to scroll way back to find ones that I could actually physically recreate. But I found some that I can work with the books that I'm reading for the readathon. So I'm just going to be pretending to be Jan. So I have my Jan nails, which are really annoying me. So I can't wait to take them off. Um, but she has nails on in some of the pictures. So I needed to be as accurate as I could. So I'm going to see if I can do them all now. I have all of my outfits here and I have my books and my props. So the first photo that I'm going to recreate, I'll put it on the screen, but I kind of have like a similar outfit. It looks like she's wearing like a little shirt with maybe a hood and the pants have the stripes down it. Mine has a stripe on the shirt as well as the pants, but we can do what we can. She has a hat, which I don't have the exact hat, but I have a hat, which is going to have to do. Um, and she's holding up Addie LaRue, and for mine, I'm going to hold up Vicious, um, because this is the V.E. Schwab book that I read during the readathon, so I'm going to see if I can do that. By the way, I'll give you a reading update in a second, because I've finished some more things. Okay, the next picture that I'm doing, I can't <laughs> recreate this one very well, but in the picture, she had like a leopard print jean jacket and then a white shirt, but I don't have that. So I'm going to do a leopard print shirt and I have this that's like the same style of jacket. And then I'm going to try and edit it white so that instead of having leopard with white under, I'm going to have leopard under with white on top. So it's like kind of reverse. I also can't do my hair how she has hers because mine is unlike her um, not growing out of my scalp. So I can't tie it up or else it looks weird. Um, so we're gonna have to skip that, but she's holding three books. So because I read two of the Mortal Instruments books, I'm gonna take a photo with the first three because I read books two and three. Um, and that will be that one. I need to take 
and in front of a white wall so hopefully this one will work I don't know we'll see the next one again I don't have the exact outfit um but she has like a black top and black pants on and like an oversized like checkered shirt um i just have like an oversized denim one but i feel like it gives the same vibes and she's holding up a book in each hand um so i'm gonna hold up two books this one um i maybe have already inserted the footage um but i'm gonna use this one for the prompt of someone else chooses because i got kian to pick a book and he picked this one and then this is the one i'm currently reading oh my god <laughs> I can't hold everything. Um, but yeah, I'm currently reading this one. So these books didn't really fit into another picture. So I'm going to have these as the two books that I'm holding for this photo recreation. Okay, I'm on to the last photo. And in this one, she has a red like jean jacket. And I have pretty much the exact one. And a black shirt underneath and she's holding up a book which has like a similar color scheme to the weight of blood which i have not read yet during the readathon but i need to get to that one because this one is like the only book i have that has blood in the title and she's holding up a i don't know what the word is for other countries but we call it a lollipop um i don't know what do you call this i don't want to open mine though because i don't actually want to eat it so i'm just gonna hold it up closed she also has red lipstick on, so should I go upstairs and put on red lipstick? Maybe. Okay, hold on. Okay, I am finished doing all of the photos. They did not turn out exactly. Uh oh, you broke him. Okay, sorry. Kian is going to be making noise in the background, so apologies for that. But I've done a lot of reading this week so far. I've done a lot of reading so far this readathon. Um, I've read two full books that counted for absolutely nothing. Like I said, I started off the week with a rollover from July, which was Queenie, if anyone is curious. Um, but it counted for nothing and I had to return it to the library. And then I think I already gave you an update, but I did read Vicious. I'm going to count this one for the morally grey character. Wait, I need to like check the prompts to make sure I'm telling you the right ones. Um, and then for what favourite supernatural creature, I was counting City of Ashes, which I already spoke about. And then I also continued on and read City of Glass, which I'm going to count for a nostalgic spooky book. And then because I was just in my fantasy mood of wanting to be in the Shadow Hunter world, I ended up going to the Infernal Devices series and I finished reading Clockwork Angel. I'm counting this edition for the hardback book because this is like the special hardcover edition, which is really cute because it has like illustrations in it. It has like character art and like little pictures throughout, which is really cool. This is like, I think my most read Cassandra Clare book. Because I think this was my third time reading it and finally I'm continuing on with the series. And I used to always think the Infernal Devices was my favorite in the Shadowhunter world, even though I'd only read the first three Mortal Instruments and this one. Um, and I do still really enjoy this one. But I was again in the mood for another one. So I read Clockwork Prince, which is the second one, um, but this counts for nothing, so I just read it for fun. I mean, I'm reading everything for fun, but that was just extra for fun. Uh, because what had happened is, even though Kian was only just sick on his birthday a fortnight ago, he got sick again. So the last couple of days we've spent just trying to make him feel better. Um, lots of lounging around in bed so i had some time to sit and read while we were resting and he i was trying to get him to relax in bed so that's how i got this whole book finished um didn't count for anything for the readathon um, but then last night i read the entirety of the graphic novel sheets on my ipad this one I'm counting for between 206 and 300 pages because it was about 250. And this was a really cute graphic novel, really quick and easy to get through and to read at night. Obviously I was reading it on a device, so that makes it easier to read at night. So I can count that for the reading past my bedtime. Even. Um, and that one was sadder than I thought it was gonna be. It's a very cute, like a cutesy looking book and a cute art style, but it did deal with grief because it was about this girl whose mother has recently passed away and she's left to run their business, which is like a laundry, what's it called? Like a laundry service. Um, and this little ghost comes to see her. And yeah, I was talking about like the afterlife and stuff. So it was actually sadder because obviously her mum has recently died. So there was a lot of grief surrounding that. Oh, careful, careful, you okay? 
Um, so then my final prompts that I need to get done. I was going to just double up on everything, but I'm like on track to read one book per prompt now. Um, so like technically I've already read seven books. Just two of them didn't count for anything. For fire involved, I am going to be counting nothing to see here. Um, I'm currently reading this one. I'm about halfway through and I'm really, really enjoying it. This is about children who catch on fire. <laughs> it is really weird, but I'm really really into it um i'll let you know my full thoughts when i'm done with it though probably hopefully <laughs> this one is the same author that wrote part of your world which was my favorite book of last year so i'm very excited to get into this one i've been seeing a lot of people saying that it's really good so i'm very excited and i did have a feeling that he was going to pick this one because green is his favorite color but the books that i had in the pile for him to pick were all birthday books um, one was from Sasha, two I think were from my mom, and this one I chose for myself. <laughs> and this was kind of the one I wanted him to pick because I really have been itching to get to this one, so I am glad he picked it. And then the last reading prompt is Blood on the title, Blood in the cover on the title, and I'm going to read The Weight of Blood if I can hopefully get to that one. I'm not really fussed if I don't finish all the prompts, I think... Maybe having low pressure on myself is how I've been getting through everything. Um, but readathons lately I haven't really been that successful. Um, but it's fine. And the life prompts. Oh, I did have a graphic tee on today, but I've taken it off to take the pictures. Um, so a red drink. I already showed you. I had that. Read past your bedtime. We can count that one. I just need to have something pumpkin flavored, which it is winter in Australia. And I have pumpkin soup, I think. And then the favorite graphic tee, I was wearing one. So I'll have to wear one tomorrow um i think that's all my updates for now and yeah i'm waiting for some parcels so i'll update you on that because i think one is going to be books i was glad that the parcel person did not come while i was like changing my clothes drastically to try and like take a new photo um i'm gonna go and edit the photos as well and hopefully they kind of turned out i don't think they did but it's fine anyway yeah thank you for coming along with me for that segment of the vlog Hopefully it's more exciting now. We're going to ignore how not great I look because I just got out of the shower, but I have a parcel, which should be books. Like it's well after 5 p.m., which I thought is when Australia Post stops delivering, but I'm not complaining because it arrived, so. Okay, it's bubble wrapped, but I've got the Shades of Magic series since I read this book and I found a cheap used copy on the line or a used box set I should say. So let's hope my fantasy era lasts long enough for me to actually get through all of these. But they seem to be in pretty good condition and it's a floppy paperback which you never know when you get paperbacks if it's going to be floppy or not. Um, but yes, very excited to read this series. The last one is pretty big. Oh gosh, okay. I have a lot of big books ahead of me. Um, but yeah, there's a small little book haul for the vlog and I'm going to go because I look not great. Um, okay, we're going to ignore how horrible I look and I'm in my pyjamas. <clears throat> I just finished reading this book and I finished this book yesterday morning. And these are two of my new favorite books, going to be definitely on my favorites of the year list. I annotated this one, if you can tell, I was loving it. Um, but, Mommy. yeah, I just got a parcel, which I don't usually get packages this often, but I did see some used books for a good price. Ooh, nice. So this is very unlike me, but let's open it. I'm not strong. Oh, it's wrapped in tissue paper. That's cute. With a little thank you sticker. Love that. Rip it now though. <laughs> okay, in pretty good condition for a used book. As I've been speaking about, I am moving through the Shadowhunter books. So I got this one because I wanted the large paperback. Um, because in Australia, things get published as a large paperback instead of getting a hardcover and then paperback. All right, I've got to go, but there's my haul. Kian has requested a very Jan dinner. So I think I should take this time to hit the pumpkin prompt. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, it's fogging the. It's fogging the lens. But there's my pumpkin done. And yes, I didn't make it from scratch and I made it from a can. But look, we've been sick and I can't be bothered. So I'm going to eat this now. Whoa, 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 Hello, it is the end of the readathon. I'm going to wrap up everything. I don't even know what I've filmed. Hopefully you can't hear Ken in the background, but I just took my very last Jan recreation photo. I will put it up on the screen and I'm wearing a shirt to count for the graphic tee prompt, even though I wore one earlier in the week, but I didn't get any footage of it. So I feel like I need to get footage and a photo for it to count. Um, so let's go through everything. So for the skeleton character card, this is obviously the life prompt, which is favorite graphic tee. For hardback book, I am counting Clockwork Angel for this one. I've literally read 11 books this fortnight which is more than I read usually for like the whole entire month. And I read it just in the first two weeks, um, but obviously not all the books that counted. For the 206 to 300 page prompt, I read the graphic novel sheets. So collected the skeleton. For the jack-o'-lantern prompt, for nostalgic spooky book, I'm counting City of Glass. For the someone else chooses for you, I am counting Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez, which I didn't really talk about, but this is like a new favorite book. This is fake dating. The male main character has pretty bad anxiety and I haven't like written out a review for this. So I haven't really collected my thoughts, but for personal reasons, I will be head canoning the male main character as neurodivergent because he really comes across that way. I don't know. I'll write a full review to like collect my thoughts, but there were a few comments made that I was like, is this anxiety or is this autism? But obviously it was never stated. So hence me saying I'm going to headcanon that. But this has the miscommunication trope, which I usually absolutely despise in books. Um, but I still love this despite the miscommunication trope. Um, still not my favorite trope, but. And then I did eat the pumpkin soup. So I've collected the jack-o'-lantern. Next up for the vampire character, for blood in the title or cover, I was meant to read The Weight of Blood, but this is the one book that I didn't end up reading. I'll probably read it later in the month if I get around to it. Um, so technically I failed this one because none of the other books have blood anywhere on them. So this was like the only book that I had that counted for that and it was the only book I didn't read. So you'd think if I was going to get rid of a book, it would be one of the ones that I could double up with, but you know not not the smartest so technically i did not complete this one but i'll go through the other ones anyway for your favorite supernatural creature i'm counting city of ashes because this has werewolves vampires warlocks demons it has everything in it so just to cover all bases for whatever my favorite supernatural creature may be um and then the life prompt was have a red drink which i did complete with the red fanta and then lastly the devil character for the book with fire nothing to see here which is another new favorite can't remember if i spoke about this one but this is this one is about the children who catch on fire which is such a crazy concept and this is like as close to a perfect book for me as possible it has a bunch of my favorite things in it again i haven't collected my full thoughts um but yeah, the concept of caring for these children who have been through so much and who are so difficult to care for because they catch on fire. Um, it was just really beautiful to read about and I really, really loved it. So I'm very excited to have read this one. And then Morally Grey Character, I read Vicious by V.E. Schwab, which very excited to continue on with this author's backlist because I've only read Addie LaRue before this. And so the two things that I've read from V.E. Schwab, I have enjoyed, which is great. And then read past your bedtime, we can count. Okay, I've been interrupted like 10 times by kid now. Um, so yeah, I've collected all of the characters technically now besides the vampire, which is a success for me <laughs> because my goal in readathons now is not even to complete all the prompts because I never do anyway. And last year I failed at Jan's readathon. I only read like one book. But then I read all of the books for all of those prompts. Plus I also read Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. And I just finished The Red Scrolls of Magic. <laughs> so just reading all the books. Plus I read that one book from the library that I had to return, um, Queenie, at the beginning of the month. So yeah, 
As far as reading goes, this was a huge success and I had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun doing those like photo recreations. It was like a nice little extra challenge for myself. Um, but yes, let me know if you participated in the readathon and what you read. And obviously, don't forget to go and check out Jan and give her some love. I'm sure you're already subscribed to her. But yeah, I had so much fun. And maybe if you have managed to watch to the end, leave a full moon or a moon emoji down below since it was the full moon readathon. And yeah, thank you for being here and I will see you in a new video hopefully soon. <laughs>